hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a week two update i think i'm going to try and be more consistent and put these videos out at the end of each week um so this will be this is my full second week going on to my third week and i'm just going to tell you how things have been uh so this week past week consisted of the first week of classes as well as my birthday and as well as um, just like orientations and people getting to know each other and things of that nature so this week was really busy uh, people you know getting settled in and getting accustomed and hopefully getting over jet lag and I think I'm fully okay with it now but I still do get a little tired earlier in the evenings but I was sleeping like that in America I, just, I was sleeping like that in America so it's not too different what I want to say about this week is that, well, the most important thing is class-wise is my Japanese class. <laughs> and I have this, I knew when I was coming here that the class was taught in solely Japanese and there was no instruction in English, which I knew, you know, that was going to be a challenge, but it was going to be good for me for my Japanese skills. However, nobody speaks English. And, well, it doesn't really bother me if nobody speaks English, but the professor can't speak English. So we can't communicate. We only can communicate solely in Japanese. And like I said, that's good for me to learn. That's good. But there is a main part of the course that requires a presentation and translating of Japanese terms into Korean terminology. However, my Korean is not at the stage of my Japanese level. So I can't let me not say can't it's going to be harder for me to do the group work or do the translations because i would have to translate from japanese to korean from korean to english that's an extra step for me than what I, than what the other students are doing which would make the class overall more difficult for me my professor uh seems nice enough so you know to accommodate and work with me and work something out so that's the only real issue uh, you know, the campus is so big, so my classes are pretty far apart. So overall, classes have been good, other than the Japanese class, which I was worried about the little difficulty. Everything else is okay. I didn't, I do have Korean language class also, but I didn't go to it last week because of orientations and stuff. So next week will be my first week with the Korean language class. So see how that goes, balancing Japanese language class and Korean language class. I did film some footage for my birthday and I'm supposed to edit it. I don't know which video is going to come up first. The birthday video or this video. Probably the birthday video will come first. <laughs> but I did film my birthday, like the actual day of my birthday and walking around campus and also to give you like a look at how my campus looks. And that's going to be up so you can take a look at that. My birthday was really fun and I'm really, really grateful to everybody who did everything here to make it what it is. I have like four birthday cakes that I don't know, I guess I'm expected to eat alone, but I'm not going to. Um, so I feel really bad about that. And I'm really grateful, but really bad that I have four birthday cakes and I'm probably not going to eat. So you, you go to another country and you meet people from another country, from other countries all over the world. You have to realize at some point that despite what country you're from or what language you speak or what religion you believe in, we're all human beings and kindness is kindness. And Kindness, I think, is the one thing that translates into every language. So I've been very grateful to have people who are so kind to me here. And I think that's going to make this whole study abroad thing even more amazing because people are just so kind to me. I know in the last update video I was talking about people staring at me. There was one thing that happened right after I filmed that video that I wish I would have it would have happened before the video, so I could so I could have put it in there, but it happened after the video. But I'm just gonna tell you that I was walking on the street in like, uh, like, uh, not off campus. I can't remember where, but off campus, and so I didn't really have like <laughs> the umbrella of the school to protect me and see, you know, like you know, young students. You know, here it was just you know, just people who live in the city. So people who live in this town or whatever 
And one old Ajuma walked up to me, one old middle-aged lady. Ajuma is somebody who, middle-aged women over the age of 40, uh, typically walked up to me. And this was like a strong Ajuma, like maybe in her 70s. And kind of bent over and, you know, she was just, she was kind of old. <laughs> and she walked up to me when I was walking with one of my Korean friends who happens to be a male and she said and she didn't even say anything she just like grabbed me she was staring at me as we were passing by each other and I thought that was the end of it but as I passed by her she grabbed me and turned me back around and my Korean friend was like just as surprised as I was she didn't even say anything she just started proceeded to pat me up and down like wanted to check on me and my Korean friend tried to, like, you know, out of respect because she's older, try to get her to stop. He, you know, he was like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 and you say, and you say, and then she just was like, oh, like to him, like get away. I'm trying to talk to her, and I said, ah, oh, yeah, and you say, and then she's, she just, her face cocked back, like, and she looked me up and down, and it was the most awkward thing ever. And she just, she was like just like touch my whole body like to see if I was real or not so that experience was wow to say the least it was the first time I ever had anybody physically approach me and invade my personal space so that was the only but that's the only thing like the only crazy thing that's happened here that has made me like oh my gosh what 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 is going on the elderly people who stare at me they communicate with me now now when they stare at me and I say, yeah, yeah, say, oh, then, oh, then it starts a conversation. And that's a little better. They were, you know, they weren't sure how I was going to be being a foreigner here. And they weren't sure my Korean language ability. And so, or maybe they don't have English language ability. But ever since I started having confidence and communicating back with people who stare at me, I have been able to start conversations randomly on the street. And that's been a plus for this week here. The young people who stare, <laughs> they just stare. On top of my roommate, we were walking back to the dorm and a guy was riding his bike and <laughs> we're two foreigners, but it's campus and the campus has foreigners, so I don't know why he was surprised. He was riding his bike and he just literally had his face turned back, you remember? Yeah. He just had his face turned back the whole time like that. Literally falling out of his bike. Almost falling off of his bike and we were just like, and I just said, hi, and he just, <laughs> like that. So people still stare at us, whatever. People still stare at me, people still stare at her. We're foreigners in another country, it can't be helped. But this country is still so very safe. So I guess it equals out very well. This country is way safer than you can ever imagine America to be. And I'm assuming that my roommate said you can ever imagine Poland to be. Like this country is so this country is so safe i'll talk about that in another video how safe this country is how trustworthy this country is and you would never see it in america or you would hope to find it but here you can expect it to happen so that's uh pretty much it for this update hmm so that's the second week classes birthday the old ajuma the guy riding the bike that's the second week update and I think that's pretty much it I'm pretty used to things now and accustomed to things now so yeah so if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below um, if you have any topic you would like to see me talk about also leave that down below all the links to where you can reach me will be down below and don't forget to follow my blog and my Instagram if you want to see all the pictures of my life here in Korea. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! 나갈게! 안녕!